Hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to another Fallout 76 video. And in this one, I'm going to share with you how can you earn up to 130 atoms with the weekly challenges. Welcome back everyone to another challenge walkthrough. And this time I'm here to tell you how can you accomplish the weekly challenges by earning up to 130 atoms. I'm going to be covering four weekly challenges. I'm excluding one of them, the alcoholic beverage one, because it's quite difficult to craft all of the drinks they ask you. Also, it's bothersome. So I'm skipping that one, but all the others I'm going to tell you how can you do them. Now, keep in mind that you need a functional camera to do most of the challenges. If you don't know how to get your camera, then feel free to check my bucket list mission walkthrough to guide you through the entire procedure on how to get your camera. Also, if you are with issues crafting camera film, then make sure to check out my guide. I tell you everything you need to do in order to farm and craft as many camera film as you need for your challenges. So with that, let's start with the easiest challenge, which is basically capturing a workshop. Typically, every week you need to capture a new or different workshop to gain 30 atoms and this week's is the Thunder Mountain Power Plant. So basically all you have to do is head there to the power plant and clear all the enemies that are around the workshop if there are any. If there isn't, then just claim the workshop. If not, then make sure to kill all of them. Use your map to track any remaining enemies in the area, then when you're done cleaning, head to the workshop itself to claim it and wait for the claiming process to be completed. And that's pretty much all you have to do here for the 30 atoms. Pretty straightforward, huh? The next challenge I have chosen is exterminate creatures with farm tools. And I picked two of them as my first subtasks the shovel and the peach fork, because I know a location where you can find a boat, so that's pretty handy. Just head to the Sunshine Meadows Industrial Farm, it's like a workshop, and here from the main building you can find the peach fork in one of these small hay buildings. The peach fork is inside this one, here, just behind me, in this hay... Uh, pile so as you can see it's very easy to come here and the pitchfork is usually there so if you don't find it just sever jump and you should be able to find it now for the shovel you need to go all the way up just take all the stairs until you can't anymore and the shovel is here in this metal shelf near the cement and that's pretty much the door that heads to the roof as a reference, it should be very easy for you to find a boat of them. So let's go and kill some stuff. With the shovel, we need to kill some rad stacks, and there are some near this place, so you don't really need to go anywhere else. Just head a bit towards southeast, like towards the river mark in the map, as you can see. I'm entering the river part and they are normally a bit ahead as you can see there are two of them right now just kill one and your challenge should update don't forget to track it I wasn't tracking the challenge at the time that's why it didn't count but I fixed that very quickly now for the pitchfork subtask head to the white spring service entrance and between the two bunker entrances here in this mountain, you can often find rabbits. They spawn here. If you don't see any, just sever jump until you do. Then kill one with your pitchfork and leave the others for whoever else needs it. 
For the third task, I selected kill a squirrel with a drill. So I headed to this abandoned mine shaft number five, and you can easily find a drill on top of the table after this microscope, just here. You can also find a fusion core outside. Just a little detail for you in case you use power armor and you need them. Then for the squirrel, I often see them at White Spring, just outside the houses. So that's where you should head after you get the drill. And right after you spawn, just head to your left. And start searching. You can also use your VATs to, you know, easily find enemies around you. And voila, I found a squirrel right there near the main building. Just use your drill on it, poor thing, and your challenge should immediately update. For the subtask, let's get a pickaxe to kill a firefly. So head here to Greg's mine supply and you will be able to find two pickaxes in this underground location, which is just ahead in this house. The entrance is here below. And the first pickaxe is here in this corpse, as you can see. And the other one is right in the floor near this corpse as well. You only need one, but just in case you don't see one, there is always the other. Then head to this location here, and it's like a fixed spawn for fireflies. It's not 100%, you can also find frogs here, but it's usually 50-50. So server jump if you find the frogs instead of the fireflies first. Last but not least, I have selected Killabramin with a multi-purpose axe. I suggest you to head to the hunter's shack because there is usually a multi-purpose axe here in the wall of the shack, as you can see, just below the deer skull. Now we need a Brahmin to kill. I suggest you to head to Flatwoods because there are like six to nine Brahmins in this area and you just need to head to the right of the church and go a little bit ahead until you find a pack of three. Then just pick the victim wisely, milk it, and then murder it. I know it sounds cruel, but what can you do? If you have to kill it, at least try and take the milk, right? And that should be it if you have done all the others that I mentioned. Anyway, I decided to include one more in case something went wrong or you just bugged out. Head to the Green Crown Tree Lodge, it's pretty close to Flatwoods. And you can find one of the tools in this house ahead. It's right here to my left, the sickle. And with it, you need to kill a beaver. Head to the overseer's camp and just across the river, you will find a spawn that is very rich in wild animals. One of them is a beaver. So keep seven jumping until you find one it's one of the best spots for this animal in game. We got 70 atoms already, but it's time to move to the next challenge, which is basically taking pictures of wildlife in the Maya region. You have plenty of choices, but they only ask you to take pictures of 10 animals. I suggest you to head to Dolly Sod's Wilderness because this is a very strategic point. First of all, you will often find this Yao Guai, which we need for the challenge. So kill it or take a picture without killing it as you prefer. And take this Pioneer Scout daily mission. Also, if you find blood bugs inside or about flies, take a picture because they also count. Now, there's another Yogwai there if you need it, and ticks everywhere. There are like three ticks around this place, so kill them or run away and take a picture. It's your choice. 
Either way, we also need them for the challenge. So as you can see, this place is super, super rich and it really makes things quicker. You can find more bugs in this part of the location. You can also find some wolves from time to time. Anyway, let's move on to the Pioneer Scouts daily or repeatable mission. Head to Freddy Fear's house and then head northeast to this bloat fly location because it also comes for the challenge and for the mission. So make sure to pick the stuff they drop. The next point is here near Relates Clay's bunker and we kind of need what's in here which is the rad roaches take a picture and it should count one more to the list let's move on to south to the treetops which has some sting insects a sting wink we also need them so picture picture bam another one bites the dust at Niagara Town, you can often find a dead claw or a mega slot. If you find a mega slot, then that's perfect because there is a fixed spawn for dead claws in the mire. So I would very much recommend you to find this mega slot by server jumping. Because next, we are going to the abandoned waste dump to photograph some mean dead claws. This is actually a matriarch. They are always here. They are not always the same type of dead claws, but it's always 100% spawn for them. So next, let's go to the big mall because it usually spawns an angler or a frog. In this case, it was an angler and I killed it. And then Bam Bam photographed his face. And with that, we are just one more to go. I decided to go to the Gulper's Lagoon near my base because there are lots of hanging gulpers in the trees. It's very easy to take a picture of them. And that's it. Another 30 items are yours if you are following the guide. The fourth and last challenge is taking pictures of wildlife in the ash heap. And to be honest with you, I didn't know much about this region i rarely go here but i started at burning a mine i took a picture of a mole right fighting a fly but only of them counted i checked which one and it was actually the fly so i concluded that mole rats are tricky or bugged because not all of them count but we'll get there later so let's head here to this mine which is filled with scorch and we also need them for the challenge. So kill them and then take a picture. And when there are many different ones, that's great because at least one will count, I guess. Then go to Welch and you will probably find tons of mole rats around in this area. I did and I took a picture right in the face and it worked. So that's great for me. Then go to Lake Reynolds where you can find a Murlux. I think it's the only place in this region where you can find them. It took me a while to actually figure it out, but it does make sense. So there's water. They love water, just like in the mire. So again, kill them, take a picture from afar, do as you prefer. Then head to the abandoned mine shaft one. And that's where I killed a lot of different mole rats. I disintegrated them and then took a picture of them. And this type of mole rat actually counted towards the challenge. So yay me. Then I went to the Pleasant Hills Cemetery. It's close to Lewinsburg. And there were several super mutants, low level. I decided to kill them first and then take a photograph because I found some before but they didn't count either so I was a bit wary but it actually counted so again yay me <laughs> then I went ahead and I found a legendary by chance 
which is perfect because we also need to take a picture of a legendary creature. So here's a detail for you on where to find a legendary in this strange region. Now to find the hound I had to do this workshop and I only found it during the defend event. I couldn't find hounds anywhere else. I found a glowing one but it didn't count. So this is the only way I could find a normal one. Then at Cannon Park you can find something that is very very common in other places but not in this region which is ticks. Yes, so near the bathrooms right ahead you can find ticks. It's not 100% so several jump to find them if you didn't yet then move to the very salt at the strikers row near the fissure to encounter a scorch beast and i suggest you to kill it when it lands because taking a picture from afar normally doesn't register anything at least for me and that's it we have the 10 creatures photographed and we got the so deserved atoms. And that's how you do the four weekly challenges very quickly, very easily, and you can basically get 130 atoms for free. If you follow the guide closely, then you can do all of this under one hour and purchase pretty much anything you want from the store with these atoms that you will earn. Anyway, that's going to be all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed the content. I know it's a bit tight on the schedule since the challenge was released a few days ago, but there are like four or five days left, so you still have a little bit of time to do the challenges and get your atoms. As usual, Thank you for watching, I am Marta Branco and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you are new around. Also feel free to check my Patreon page if you would like to go the extra mile to support my content. That's going to be all for today's video, I hope to see you very soon in the next video. Adios, bye bye! Wow.